Okay, <clears throat> for this part of the project, I am using um, tacky glue, and I'm putting the tacky glue on the earring surface <clears throat> because what we're going to be doing is using the leftover pieces of styrofoam to decorate this part of the earring. So, what I'm doing is I'm putting the tacky glue on, and then I'm going to you know, it's going to get tacky, so I need it to be tacky before I actually glue the mosaic pieces on. So I'm going to let it dry a little bit as I go. So um, I'm going to cut the mosaic pieces into different shapes um, while this is getting kind of tacky. Okay, so that's what I'm doing next. So what you should do is you should have a brush that's... Um, you know, I use like an old brush that's that's not real good because when you put tacky glue on it, you know, even though you might wash it, it still isn't a good idea to get tacky glue on a good brush. So this is just an old brush that's a bristle brush that I use um, for putting tacky glue on. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking some of the styrofoam pieces and I'm just randomly cutting some pieces out that are going to look, they're actually going to look like a mosaic when this is done. Um, so again, you're using the same thing. You're still using the, the styrofoam, but you're using it in a different way. Um, this is one way of embellishing your earring. You know, you can actually, after you do this, um, you can kind of come up with your own way of doing it. This is what we're doing to, to start with. <clears throat> and what you're going to get is the effect of um, almost like stone that is on top of a metal piece. And um, again, the earrings will be very, very light, so uh, they'll be easy to wear. But when you're wearing them, you certainly will not be able to tell what they are. Um, when you wear them, you know, people are going to say, well, those look really heavy, and they're going to be amazed at how light they are. And so I think this is why this is um, such a successful, you know, that my earrings are so successful is because, um, you know, people like to wear earrings, but they don't like the heaviness of earrings. You know, earrings that are real heavy are hard to wear. And so, you know, they're uncomfortable. And so I think that's why um, my earrings are so popular. It's because one, um, you know, people like the idea of wearing something that makes a statement for the earth. And the other thing is they like the idea of wearing something that is um, light and easy to wear. Okay. So you should have uh, like a little grid of three mosaic pieces across and three mosaic pieces down. And they should be the same on the other earrings. So this is kind of what you're going to do first is, um, is do one earring and then do the other earring. So you do the other earring the same exact way. You put your mosaic pieces on, but first of all you put your glue on. And um, this is one pair of earrings that I'm doing in this class. Um, but if you're interested, I also do other types of techniques to create other pieces of jewelry, including pendants. So if you're interested in doing another class, um, you can sign up for that later. Um, but I'm hoping that you really will get the whole idea of using green material in your own art and um, come up with your own ideas. Um, I think this is going to help you really look at green material in a totally different way as, um, after you do this class. And so I'm hoping that this will really inspire you um,
to continue. You know, I discovered this this whole idea of using um, Restyrofoam by just experimenting with the material. I've been doing this for, I'd say, probably about mm, four years, maybe. And um, I've been playing around with different materi materials, including the Styrofoam, but also um, plastic um, from plastic bottles and um, paper, cardboard. Um, I do things with um, paper bags. And I change things. I make things look like metal by using different effects, different techniques to create different effects. And so is that something you're interested in? I can also show you that as I do these classes. So you should have your pieces on your earring. And I will tell you that the earrings aren't going to look exactly alike. You won't be able to tell when you're wearing them, but they're not going to be exactly alike. It's almost like um, your right and left ear are ears, but they're not the same. So um, that's the idea of doing this. It's like, you know, they're supposed to look like they're handmade. They're not supposed to look like they're factory made perfect. Um, and so there's going to be a little bit of a difference. But to the extent that you, you know, I don't think you're going to see much of a difference. Anyway, so this is, um, I'm almost done with this one. And um, you notice that I'm using the same color scheme for the mosaic pieces so that they do have a similarity to them. Okay. So that's what you should have. Okay. So that's your other earring. So we're going to let this dry. And uh, after it's dry, we're going to do the second part, which is um, putting wire on the beads. Putting, put, I'm sorry, beads on the wire. And... Um, um, the jump rings and the ear wires. Okay? So, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.